plus you're on Epitaph, which is also yeah. Really well, good. right, exactly. Um, yeah, I'm old enough to remember the world before the internet, and you know, I remember going into record stores and buying CDs that I had no idea what they were, but they just had Epitaph written on the back yeah. of them. Epitaph and Fat Rack. Right, exactly. You just got, and the guy in the record shop got to know me, and I walk in, and he'd just have a pile of whatever was on Epitaph that come in, and I'd basically just buy it, and uh, you know, that was what music shopping used to be like. <laughs> <sighs> Back when men were men, <laughs> the world was young. And punk bands sang about politics. And the dinosaurs still roamed the earth. Um, I have to ask you, <laughs> a long time ago, I have yeah. to ask you about uh, your, your uh, well, Sons of Liberty. And I want to yeah. sort of ask if you are plugged in politically. Yeah, I am. Although, here's a funny thing. Um, because I'm a kind of angry white guy with a guitar, and I'm a fan of Billy Bragg's music, you know, and his songwriting, I guess people just are in a hurry to assume that I'm a socialist, and I could not be further from being a socialist. I despise socialism with every fiber of my angry being. Um, you know, politically speaking, I'm a libertarian, and that's what that song is supposed to be about. I believe in resisting tyrannical government in all places and at all times, and in the Good freedom quote. and re responsibility of the individual. And, um, you know, uh, I actually have a song that I'm working on at the moment for the next album, which is addressing this issue of people thinking I'm a socialist. And I think it's probably going to really piss a lot of people off this song. <laughs> but uh, just stuff like, you know, Che Guevara. I get irritated with people with Che Guevara t-shirts. He was a murderous, homophobic thug, you know, and he's no one to idolize. Similarly, t kids wandering around with CCCP t-shirts on, it's just like, might as well have a swastika in their t-shirt as far as I'm concerned. You know, so roughly the same kind of proportion of people were murdered by that regime. Why is it funny to have their t-shirt on? Yeah. You asshole. Um, so yes, I'm plugged in. You are plugged in politically, but just, yeah. just not in <laughs> not in the way that a lot of people lazily assume that I am. Um, so, which leads to many a heated conversation. Uh, give me a new band that you really like right now. Can I give you two? Yep. Um, they're both English, um, and they can both be located in my top friends on MySpace. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> That's actually what I used my top friends on MySpace for, that and getting my guitar tech laid. Nice. Because he was, like, <laughs> he was like, put me in the top friends of MySpace, because if girls see me at a show and they want to track me down, that might be somewhere they go. Hook me up, dude. <laughs> I, was me like, up there. I was like, okay, fine. I mean, you know, I'll, I can do that. <laughs> I, I don't know. Did it work? I, I, I don't know. I don't know. Did it work? Um, I any so. <laughs> anyway, but... Um, <laughs> There's a band uh, from the southwest of the UK called Crazy Arm, who are this awesome kind of like, they're kind of like a punk band, but they're kind of country, but they kind of got a glass jaw thing going on as well. Nice. And it's this really unique and awesome, potent mix. It's, one of, it's just one of those bands where, do you know what I mean? Like, you spend your whole time hearing new bands and being like, yeah, you know, that's kind of cool. I kind of like a bit of this and that. And then, and then a band comes along and just goes and slaps you in the face and like, right, this is a good new band. Forget about all the other crap I was listening to. This band just kicked me square in the balls. Um, <laughs> and, you know, that's what those guys did. So they're coming out on tour with me in the UK and in Europe Sweet. in uh, later this year. And then um, one of my best friends is a guy called Ben Marwood. And he is a songwriter. And he puts me to shame. Um, he, I literally stay up at night worrying about what he's going to come up with next because it's generally... We occupy pretty similar musical territory. But I just think he's an unbelievable lyricist and songwriter and should be much better known than he is. So people should check out Ben Marwood. Cool. Uh, my last question is about uh, Try This At Home. Mm -hmm. Very self-deprecating, kind of very tongue-in-cheek, <laughs> very funny song. Um, well spotted. I'm gonna, you know what? It's amazing the number of people who think that music should be humorless. Do you know what I mean? And yeah. It, and it yeah, annoys yeah, yeah. me greatly. Anyway. No, sorry. I love that sort of... that. But I mean, that kind of comes with punk rock. There's always sort of been that you can be serious. Like, No Effects is pretty serious sometimes, but yeah, they're yeah. pretty jokey as well. But I mean, is it important for you to have a sense of humor when you're on the road all the time? Hell yeah. Well, I think, I think that people and also song, well, m music that is incapable of laughing at itself are deeply tedious. Do you know what I mean? You don't, you don't want to get stuck at the party with, and talking to the person who doesn't know how to laugh at themselves. And I don't want to get stuck listening to the music that doesn't laugh at itself. Yeah. Prog rock, I'm looking at you. Um, <laughs> do you know what I mean? And it's just, I'm just, do you know what I mean? It's, it's yeah. just. I mean, actually, you know, in fairness, not by no means all prog rock. Stuff like Crim Kim Crimson and Early Genesis was great. It really could laugh at itself, and it was cool. But some of that stuff, it just gets really... Metal tends to get a lot of this going on. Yeah, you know, well, I think a lot of kind of, like, mainstream hip-hop as well. It's just a bit like... Mm -hmm. It's so easy to puncture that stuff because it's so utterly up its own ass. And, um, yeah, I think, I think that's bad and boring. And like I say, music is... It's like personalities as well. People who have no sense of... Self-deprecation are awful twats. 
<laughs> that we shouldn't talk to at parties. Nice. I like that you use that word again. <laughs> I'm just going to get in. Is that, is, that, is that a swear word? In I this don't country? think so, because you say it twat. So that's like. You guys say it with, like, say it? Twat. Yeah. That's very. What? Like, I'm going to get fired now. I'm going to oh, get really? fired because of that. Yeah, no. Oh, wow. I'm not. sorry. <laughs> Dude, come, in, we come, and, come and work for me. Okay, cool. <laughs> Put me in your top five, uh, your top on MySpace. Yeah, okay. That's the deal. Cool. Deal. Cool. Dude, thanks, thanks for man. coming Cheers. in. Man. All right. Totally. MySpace friend. Yeah. <laughs>